I just didn't feel like people were trying, they didn't care. I just wanted people to see what you can do, you know, and I just wanted people to see that if you actually put the effort in, you get the results, you get the shop, you get the customers, you can make this hobby work. So as I went on, I realised I wanted to do more. I wanted to create a revolution, the Solly revolution. Greetings everyone, so today we're going to talk about one of them jobs that you don't have to do that often, but it's well worth doing, and that is check your refractometer. Obviously, if you come to the store, you're more than welcome we do it for free. If you're not, we'll show you how to use a check solution, how to use, turn the screw and the way we do it. Also, why we use salinity rather than SG, um, because it's not affected by temperature and the reasons why. So we'll talk through all of that, but it's, salinity is one of the most important things to keep stable, because it keeps all your elements stable and keeps all your livestock really happy. So it's something that you should check, um, and we're just going to make sure you do it today, and it's a really quick job, only going to take a minute or so. So today we're talking about setting up our refractometer. Obviously salinity is one of the most important parameters that we have to keep an eye on that and temperature. It sorts out a lot of your issues. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously use our refractometer to check our salinity, which we'll do in the tank. So what we do is we just get a small syringe off an old test kit, we just do a few drops along it. Just to make sure the entire glass is covered. Squish it down, then you just get into a bright light, which we've got here. And obviously we just check that and it is spot on 34. We always use the number on the right hand side because that's not affected by temperature. So it's something to make sure you do. So now that we know that's 34, we're just going to check that with a, a correction fluid. Just make sure it is reading correct. And if not, we'll go around and correct all the tanks in the shop. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to check it. So you get your little correction fluid here. We check it on. This is a job that we do in store for free if you're nearby. Just bring it to us. Drop it on, like so. Put the lid back on that. Obviously we made sure we've wiped it and kept it nice and clean. Put that on there like so. We check that. Now if it wasn't correct, what we'd do, because this one's reading absolutely spot on, you would take this little off. You can see there's a little adjustment. There's a little screwdriver over here you put in, move left and right, and you can move the line up and down, and you hit the whatever your correction fluid is set to. We tend to always use a correction fluid rather than RO just because we can guarantee that it's going to be the right thing. There's what we use one by Salifer, which we just divide up. But yeah, so it's as simple as that. It's a job that you should do each month, and but it's well worth doing because if you have the correct salinity and the correct temperature, it's going to make your life so much easier. So I'll see you tomorrow and we'll talk about another job.